Well, 2014's just about done. We're ready to move on to 2015. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for this new thing? That's what we're talking about this week on uh, Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. I'm glad you're here. Um, if you'll look with me, yesterday we talked about Isaiah chapter 43, starting with verse 18. Today I want to jump to Jeremiah chapter 31, starting with 31 going to 34. This is what it says. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant which I made with their fathers in the days that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says the Lord, but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those day days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No more shall every man teach his neighbor or every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord, for I will, give, uh, I will forgive their iniquity and their sins I will remember no more. This is this new thing that we've been talking about. Many of you are probably saying right now, well, yeah, I understand that salvation. But let's make sure you really understand, and, and again, stick with me all this week because we're going to break this down. This is a new covenant that God is making with his people. Covenant really means promise, but not the kind of promise that the world uh, hangs on to because many of us know that promises are broken. In fact, there's a saying, promises are made to be broken. But I'm telling you right now, God cannot break his promise. God will not break his covenant. He has made a covenant with his people. Now notice it's with his people. It's not with the world. He's made a covenant with his people. And he says, I'll write my laws upon their hearts. How does it say? I'll, I'll put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts and I will be their God. So in other words, there's something new that God has done. He's created something new to be able to have this communication and relationship with man in a whole new way. And it's because of Jesus Christ being born on this earth and releasing the kingdom of God here. Once again, remember Jesus said, pray this way, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This world is, is, was always created to function according to the kingdom principles and kingdom laws and the government. Remember last week we found out the government will be upon the shoulders of Jesus and they'll call him wonderful, counselor, almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and the and the uh, his government, the uh, the increase of his government and peace. There will be no end. You remember that? That's Jesus Christ. He came to start something new here on this earth. That's remarkable. It's awesome. It's wonderful. But again, just like we studied yesterday, will you know it? When it comes, will you recognize it? See, if you're not familiar with it, you'll just kind of shake it off. It, 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 in fact, if you don't have the Spirit of God living on the inside of you, you'll never even understand it because just like it says here, uh, neighbors won't have to teach neighbors anymore. Why? Because we'll have the very Spirit of God on the inside of us teaching these things. So I'm here to declare that God has made a new covenant with his people. You say, here it says the children of Israel, but remember we've studied this in the past too. In Galatians it tells us that those of us who are born again are heirs to Abraham, and, and, and heirs to, um, I'm, and sorry, and, and part of the Jewish race, we, be, we are grafted in to that people. And so because of this, because of this new covenant that Jesus came and established, that's why we can say all that. That's why we can believe it. It's a new thing, and you got to get a hold of it. If you've never accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you need to. Why? Because then this new covenant kicks in gear. This new thing is ready, is, is for you. It was established and set up 2,000 years ago when Jesus came, but you have to accept it. You have to be looking for it. Remember it says, will you know it? You have to be aware of it and be, have a desire for it. Okay, now listen. Got a lot to say in a very short period of time. So don't miss any of these this week. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently, diligently, diligently seek him and serve him.